Welcome back to the channel designers. Today is day two in my 30 illustrator tools in 30 days. Today we're looking at a tool that I use on a pretty consistent basis. I'm gonna say probably daily I use this tool. It, uh, it's become just kind of second nature to me, but I'm sure we'll get into it just one minute. Okay, I'll, yeah, see you in the video. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so if you haven't guessed yet, today we're gonna look at the type tool. It's honestly a tool that I use pretty much daily. Now, my daytime job, when I'm not doing sort of cheesy intros for YouTube videos, I work in a sign shop full time and we do a lot of lettering, a lot of signs, a lot of billboards, a lot of text layouts. Now it's pretty basic stuff that we do on a daily basis, so it's, it's not really fancy, but there's a lot of stuff that you need to know when it comes to working with the type tool. Now I'm not getting into typography here, so we're not getting into like kerning and letting and, and all that kind of stuff. Again, this is just kind of a basic introduction to the type tool. So let's hop into Illustrator and I'll show you everything to do with the type tool, but stick around. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel because I am gonna get into that kind of stuff later on down the road. We're gonna talk about Letting, and we're going to talk about kerning and we're going to talk about uh, everything else to do with design but just further down the road all right let's hop into illustrator and we'll go through the type tool all right so here we are in adobe illustrator i went ahead and created a new document just eight and a half by eleven standard size sheet of paper there's two different ways i can access the type tool First method is by going over to your menu bar on the left hand side and clicking on the type tool, which is the capital T, or I can also press T on my keyboard for the keyboard shortcut. From here, I have two different methods that I can use for putting type on my artboard. One gives me just a single line of text, which I can create more and I can hit enter and all that kind of stuff, or I can actually create a text box. To create a simple text line, just click once anywhere on your artboard and you can go ahead and start typing. This is the text line. And as you can see, I can still hit enter, put more text down here. If I wanna click out of this and continue working, I can hold down command on my keyboard and click anywhere off of that block and now I'm into being able to edit this or start a new block somewhere else on the page. So the only thing about this method is that now this block, if I stretch the box, it stretches the text as well. So be wary of this when you're making new boxes or when you're making new lines of text. This is a great method if you're gonna use it for things like high, for like headlines or just single lines of text throughout. But if you're looking to do paragraph text, there's a different method for that. I'm gonna go Control Z or Command Z just to back up here. I'm gonna get my type tool again. And now here I'm gonna click and hold and then drag out a box. And by doing that, I actually get a paragraph of text. So with this paragraph, number one, you'll notice that it's all filled in with lorem ipsum text, which is great. It's a nice placeholder so I can create boxes on the fly and not have to worry about what text I'm putting in them yet. So for example, if I were to have, say if I'm making a layout for a client and I want some blocks of text, I want one there and say I want a couple more, I want one down here and then I know I'm gonna do a longer one right down in this area. Well, what I can do now is I can actually use these as section holders and draw out my paragraph and then just change my fill color on my type to white and there's one block of text let's do another one down here and again change my fill to white command command click out of it and let's do one more right down here And I'm going to command click out of that. So as you can see, this is a lot quicker method of being able to kind of lay out quick text on the fly so that I can see 
how this is all going to work for a brochure or a flyer or something like that where I've maybe got some larger blocks of text that I need to do. Now, a couple of key notes about paragraph text. If I were to take this block and just mash it up here. Now, if you remember what I said about this one, if we take this and mash it up, see how it shrinks the text down? Whereas by making a paragraph of text, it doesn't. But it does start to hide my text. So that's what this little red plus sign is. That tells me that there's actually hidden text in this block. Not such a big deal when we're using just placeholder text, but if this were actual client text that I was working with, I'd want to make sure I pay attention to this. Now if you click on it like I just did there, you see this little grid line that you get. What that's telling me is that I've now got that extra text that's hidden here in my cursor. So I can actually come down here and if I draw another block out, it's going to join these two together and take that additional text and put it in. Now you see I've got it again. So I can take that one and I can draw it even down here. And now you'll see that that paragraph has ended. So this gives us the flow of the text and shows us that we're moving over into another block. Great for doing layouts into columns or odd shapes and you can use this with circles and triangles and, and other shapes inside of Adobe Illustrator. So let me get rid of a lot of this. I'm going to show you one last thing. If you remember looking at yesterday we were able to find some additional options by double clicking on our tool. So if I double click on the type tool over in the toolbar, we get this area type options. Now you won't get this if you've done just a single line text, even if you've got eight or 10 lines of text inside of that single line text block, it's all based on how you initially create this. Now these options are really nice because we can set the width and the height right inside of this box. So if I know that I need something that is seven inches wide by four inches tall and hit preview, it's going to set everything up for me. I can also set rows in here. So then I've got nice little blocks. I can set columns. Let's get rid of our rows. So I have columns of text now. We can set our span how far each one is going to go. We can set fixed rows oh, and we can also set our gutter which is the amount of space that's in between. We can do an offset so we can actually set kind of an outside border here. We also have the option to set our baseline. Now the baseline isn't something I'm really going to get into on this video. It's something I'm going to cover more in depth down the road. Let me just get rid of that, but I will show you how this kind of lays out. So an easy one to work with is X height. So this is actually going to set our baseline based on the height of the lowercase x that's in our text. Again, I will cover this more in depth once we go into typography later on down the road, which I'm hoping I'm going to do sometime into the new year. I want to get through these tools, teach you each one of these tools, and then we'll come back and we'll go really in depth on each one of them. The last thing that I can do here is I can actually set the text flow which again once we've got multiple boxes like we had before you can have it either running down and through. Let me grab some, I'm just going to do a couple of rows here. And if I change this, so right now it's running left to right, top to bottom. So it's going to run this box, this box, this box, this box and then start over down here. Whereas if I click this other one it's now going to start here, and if you see this, so here we got Magna Aliquam, and if I click here, it's now going down the column. So it's going to run this way, then start at the top and go this way again. All right, designers, so that's it for this one. I hope you picked something up. I hope you learned something about the type tool, a couple of different ways you can use it, single line text or building out paragraphs. And again, stick around. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell because I've got a lot more content coming your way in the upcoming months. Okay, designers, that's it for me. I need to get back to work and start planning tomorrow's video. So I will see you in the next one. Hey, did you guys see this back here? I mean, my fat head was blocking it. Possibly. Any Spawn fans out in the audience?
Can anybody tell me whose guitar this is? Okay, yeah, I gotta go.